Hello friends, my name's Alyssa and I work at Boston Children's Museum. And I wanna show you something that I made the other day that I'm really excited about. Check out this painting. I'm not much for painting, but this one was really fun to do because I did it using physics. And today I wanna to show you how to make your own pendulum painting. But first, what is a pendulum? A pendulum is an object that is hung from a point that doesn't move, and then the object is allowed to swing freely until it comes to a stop. You've probably seen or experienced pendulums lots of times, and now you know what they're called. Here's the things you'll need to do this activity. A few empty water bottles, some paint, just regular old temper paint works great, or you can use the powdered kind. Some string and scissors. And some big pieces of paper. I just took wrapping paper and cut it into big sheets. You could also use old wallpaper, or you could just take some regular sized pieces and tape them together. You'll also need a drop cloth or a tarp or some newspaper or something to protect the floor with. Let's get started. First, you'll need to prep your water bottles. And to do that, you'll need to drill a hole into the bottom of the water bottle. You'll need the cap and then tie a piece of string around the neck of the bottle and make a loop. Here's how the activity works. You're going to take a long piece of string and tie it someplace up high. So you might want to set this up someplace outside. Maybe you can tie to a branch of a tree that's poking out or inside maybe in your basement or your playroom if there's some way you can tie a piece of string to the ceiling. If you don't have a convenient tree or rafters in the ceiling, you can just try setting up two chairs and a broomstick and hang your string from that. Then you'll want to lay down a drop cloth or a tarp or some newspaper because paint is going to get all over the place. And then the way it works is you'll attach your bottle, but it'll be filled with paint, to your string. And you can see I've attached a paper clip there to make that a little easier. And then you'll just let the bottle swing back and forth. And as it swings, it will drip out paint onto the piece of paper that you've put underneath. And it will make all kinds of cool patterns. Let's try it for real. Setting up your bottles of paint can be a little tricky because, of course, there's a hole in the bottom of the bottle. But watch this. I've got the cap on tight. And you might think that when I tip this up, a lot of paint is just gonna come gushing out. But let's see what happens. dripping really slow and now it's actually stopped. But what do you think will happen when I take the cap off? It just flows right out. So when you're making your painting, you can get yourself arranged carefully with the cap on the bottle. But when you're ready to pull back and let it swing, take the cap off and the paint will flow and make a beautiful painting for you. So you can see I've laid out a piece of paper and because I'm outside, I've put some rocks on to hold it down. Now I'm going to hook my bottle of paint. I'm gonna give the bottle a swing and let physics do the work. So this activity definitely uses art and science, but there was also some engineering involved as I tried to figure out the best way to get this to work well. For example, 
figuring out how to hang this string. And then the paperclip innovation. That was a good idea. But the thing I had to work with the most was the paint. It was a little too thick, so I watered it down, and then it was just watery, and it just made a big puddly mess. So you may have to play around with your paint as well. Don't get discouraged, because once you get it to work, it's so cool. I was so excited when I made my first painting, and the paint just came out, and it made these really awesome designs. So I encourage you to try this activity home. It can be a little frustrating, but it's definitely fun, and you get some really beautiful creations out of it. So thanks for joining me today, and I hope to see you back here on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube for more cool STEAM activities to try at home. Wait a second, don't go anywhere, I forgot something. We have big news to share. If you're a fan of STEAM activities like this one, and also hands-on demonstrations, workshops, performances, you are going to love our Created by E-Festival. The festival is a week-long virtual event that will get you and your whole family inspired to create, along with artists, technologists, makers, and all kinds of really cool people. It's coming up October 19th through 24th, and you can register for free in the link below. Mark your calendars. You are not going to want to miss this one.